For a long time, we've talked about replacing Christmas gifts with an experience. Not just a, hey, I bought you a cooking class for you to do by yourself in February, but like a trip, a memorable trip together. Wouldn't it be great if instead of spending hundreds on gifts, we could all pull our money together towards a trip somewhere during the holidays? We're going to seven cities and seven Christmas markets. We've got two and a half weeks. We'll be traveling completely by train, training it all the way, ho, ho, ho. And no train ride will be longer than three and a half hours, which means we're keeping this loop toy, blending French style, Belgian style, German style, and Luxembourgish style Christmas markets. No one in Luxembourg. <laughs> we'll be trying all the Christmas classics, hot and steamy mulled wine, fancy hot chocolate, decadent waffles, silky crepes. It's like the skin of a baby golden retriever. Nathan, what? <laughs> Just kidding. Snappy bratwurst. <laughs> Along with local specialties from each region. Tartiflette, raclette, tarte flambe, chocroute, spetzel, fondue. Oh my God. And a few Christmas curveballs. Oh <laughs> Yeah, that was the most unco thing. And we're doing it all with my newly retired parents. And since we're with the fam, we chose not to vlog as much, to stay as present as possible with our family. So, this will mostly be voiceover. Merry Christmas! Hey! 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 Happy holidays! Time to see the best Christmas markets of Europe, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Excited and full of holiday cheer, we took the 90-minute speed train from Paris, France to Brussels, Belgium, the home of our first Christmas market, where we were given a very warm welcome. Dude, there's literally hundreds of stalls out here. Serving all kinds of things, hot beverages, food, clothes, beanie, <laughs> Santa themed everything, blue vine, <laughs> blue vine. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> like what I love about this market in particular, at one end you got the Ferris wheel, and at the other end you got a church, and then in between you got holiday spirit. So, the perfect blend of sexy and cute. Yeah, you got the Holy Spirit, and you got holiday spirit. <laughs> We've hit the ground running and have quickly become real Christmas gourmands. We've gone full glutton, not holding back, full assault on the belly. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at wow. that. The fat and the juice. Luckily, they walk a lot here in Europe. So our plan is to counteract this gluttony by walking as much as we can. With candy canes and silver lanes aglow. <laughs> Augusto Sweetheart saves our room for later. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? I'm so pissed. Why are you going? <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Ask me that I already got some mayo, mustard, and a little bit of aioli as my special secret. <laughs> yeah, but oh my god, we got the onions right here. Oh my god, on baguette. The snap is insane. Here we go. Don't rock it. Don't rock it. This whole square is insane. Look at this architecture. Who knew? Yeah, free public transportation!
competition. <laughs> oh, we made it to another Christmas market. Luxembourg. Yeah, buddy. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. All right, just had to cop myself a little German cookie called Lebkuchen. Trying my best to say that. I've seen these all the time in Trader Joe's, but they're much smaller and they have a lot more preservatives. So these are freshly made. Yeah, Heidi, give, let's give it go. A go. It's so good. It's like gingerbread, maybe molasses and yeah. spices. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, what do you got? Wow, look at that. Cheers. Check this out. They have an ice skating rink at this market. We managed to make it over early before all the crowds come. Here's a miracle. And more sparks. Look at the athleticism here. No other pair in the world. So we're not only here for Christmas markets. We're also trying to walk around, see and explore some of the city. Because a lot of these places, it is our first time. So we're here in Luxembourg and we had to make the trek up to see what's been ranked the most beautiful view in all of Europe. Look at this. Oh my God. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. With a GDP per capita of nearly 86 billion, Luxembourg is indeed the richest country in the world. From my standpoint, as a tourist visiting, I was just impressed with how clean and tidy the city was that all their public transportation was free and also for how into Christmas they were for a city on the smaller size. Make the Yuletide gay Make the Yuletide gay From now on Ow! Son of a nut! <laughs> Just like the ones I used to know Where those streets are And every time it rains, it rains And it's from heaven don't you know each cloud contains banners from heaven? Should be to be. You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Be sure that your umbrella is up, 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 upside down and trade them for a package of sunshine and ravioli. Macaroni. What the I hell? want myself a little bit of a <laughs> cheese smoked sausage. Let's get it, dude. Nathan is on a mission, a sausage mission, dude. It's something you get in this Alsatian region where it's basically just like a really good sausage and a, sometimes a baguette covered in local cheese. Bonsoir, monsieur. Alors, je vais prendre une saucisse fumée avec du fromage fondu. Oh my god. Good job, guys. Yeah. The cheese is so good out here. Oh my god. We got like raclette, fondue, tarte flambée alsacienne. Or I'm about to order a crepe, but not just any crepe. There's sort of a special way that a lot of locals like it, which is with creme de marron, which is like a chestnut cream. It's sweet, it's sugary, it's very simple, it's delicious. Yeah, merci. 
I love creme de marron because it's not like too sweet. Like I love the Nutella too, I'm not gonna lie, but like this is just different, it's unique. You gotta try this. Vin chode, chocolate chode. Vin how do you How do you actually say the first one? Vin chaud. It's kind of funny to me that this area is called Petite France, which is Little France, because like this looks mostly German. <laughs> yeah. Very old cobblestone streets and all the windows have plants and flowers in them. And what I love most about the city so far is it's like Germany and France has been fighting over this region for so long that I feel like they've perfectly blended together. <laughs> and you get like both types of food, both types of cultures, languages, everything is a mix. So, you know, this is probably my favorite all around lifestyle city so far on this trip. Strasbourg. Yeah. Yeah. I can no, live I can here. I feel like I can live here. And we've made it to another market. So that tree is massive. Wow. Now supposedly this is the tallest Christmas tree in Europe. The real Christmas tree. 98 feet tall. Nathan impression of taking a bite. Dad. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Out of all the ring, you know you're the man. <laughs> we just made it to Coma, dude. <laughs> I gotta say these smaller towns definitely have that local feel a lot more. Yeah, we're here at like 10 a.m. and it's packed. Another cold day, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Gotta keep my gator on, but just magical, man. So magical. Definitely a lot of German style architecture and homes, you know, with the wooden framing and everything. Really cool blend though of French food and German food. Get a little pretzel, get a little choucroute, blend the two, you know what I'm saying? Supposedly, and I don't want to start any false rumors here, Colmar was the inspiration for the Beauty and the Beast. And seeing it from the top of the Ferris wheel and looking down on all those rooftops and that stunning architecture, you know, I can see it. I can definitely see it. The level of charm in this little town is off the charts. I can definitely see why so many people come here during Christmas time. Santa Claus is coming to town. Paris without Christmas is still Paris. It's a big city. It's a beautiful city. It's got incredible food, incredible things to do. But we were curious, how does Paris transform during the holidays? Do they even do Christmas out here? How are their Christmas markets? We had to find out. We've made it to the Paris Christmas markets. They have so many vendors here. We just popped into Angelina's across the street. 120 year old recipe for hot chocolate. So freaking good. Little fun fact, pop in and get a takeaway. You'll get it right away instead of waiting in line, which was about 100 people long. But we're here and we're gonna check out some food and see what they got to offer. Hot cows being sung by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. A turkey and some mistletoe. So the first thing that I noticed about this Christmas market that's been unique is they have food from all over. Some of the Christmas markets we've gone to, they've kind of had the similar setup just all around, but every single vendor is different. So here we got some frog legs and escargots. So that's what a frog leg looks like. It smells amazing. Right? Like bubbling so with all the oil. So much garlic, dude. It's delicious. So many rides here. Almost kind of feels like a Christmas amusement park. Kids are having a ball, dude. It's Christmas Chuck E. Cheese's, yo. <laughs> I know. There it is. There it is. 
big perk to staying in Brussels is you get the three for one special where you can hop on a train and in less than an hour be in charming towns like Bruges and Ghent. This is what Flemish sounds like, by the way. Dames and heren, come on in. Ghent St. Pieterse, Ghent St. Pieterse is a ransfletting. City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. If you're a woman in high heels, Bruges is your worst nightmare given all the cobbled lanes and canal bridges. But for a passionate Christmas lover, it's a fairy tale. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say something a little bit out there. I think Belgium has the best beer in the world. So within minutes of finishing our little canal tour, we had to step inside for a little brewski. It's so good. This is real beer. Oh my god. Wow. Bells will be ringing. For a little medieval Belgian town, Bruges throws down for Christmas. Everything you'll look at is a picture from the storefronts to the historical buildings. They doctor this city up for the holidays. Grab yourself a bowl of mussels and a strong Belgian beer, and you'll be in heaven. I have no friends. Wish me good. Just a flesh wound. Once again. We had to get on some glue wine. Mm, this is Christmas in a glass, dude. <laughs> One thing I'm really impressed by, and it might just be because we're here early, it's not really packed. I expected there to be a lot more people and there's not. So, it's been really nice. Oh, <laughs> smell that. Oh, the smell. Watch you don't wear that. Oh my God, oh, Maven. so good, are you smelling that? Oh my God. I'm not gonna lick my shot. <sighs> been to a place that <laughs> served so many mussels in one in one meal. That's right. Another day, another train, and today it's Ghent. Is it cherry? It's cold. How are you feeling, Nathan? How do you not have gloves on? What? How do you not have gloves on? Because I got to shoot a video for the people. No. Today is the coldest day by far. 29 degrees. I have three or four layers on top. We walking around. We walking through some more markets. Made it again. Although we didn't quite make it in time for their Christmas markets, which were expected to start just a couple days after we got there, Ghent is hands down one of the most beautiful cities in Belgium. It's one of Belgium's oldest cities with beautiful medieval and classical architecture paired with a kind of grittier, hipstery, industrial feel. We give Ghent a high score in our book. It also has over 80,000 university students, definitely upping the vibe and Christmas spirit. Oh, I can't wait to see those faces. This pub we found has over 500 kinds of beers and will take one of your shoes hostage and hoist it up in a basket on the ceiling if you order one of these big beers, just so you don't run off with the glass. 10%! Ho, 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 ho! Tree. I just want to 
Come to you. 